Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what's going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. A Prayer for Strength for What's Ahead by Christine Brown, read by Leah Martin. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise Him my Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Exodus 15.2 The Israelites stood on the banks of the Red Sea, staring across at what appeared to be a hopeless situation. Behind them, the enemy closed in. Doubt got the better of them as they expressed their cynicism to their leader, Moses. But Moses knew God had a plan and didn't bring them this far to leave them stuck. God would show strength beyond what they could imagine, strength they would need for the journey ahead. This familiar story recorded in Exodus 14 describes the moment Moses stretched out his staff and watched the raging waters split in two. What an awesome thing to see. God took his people across dry land that allowed the water to swallow up the pursuing Egyptian army. He made a way where there seemed to be none, showing the Israelites that although the road ahead would be rough, they could count on his strength to make it. So many times in life, I've felt like the Israelites on that day, wedged in between bad and worse, waiting on God to act and wondering if he hears my cry for help. When I see a hard road ahead, I try to muster up the strength to push through. But God reassures us in his word that He will be our strength. Exodus 15.2 says, The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise Him, my Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Standing safely on the other side of the river, God's people sang praises that included those words. They showed faith in God to provide and believed he would be their strength for whatever obstacles they faced. When we see what's ahead and feel powerless to face it, we can trust God to help us. He is faithful, and he promises to never leave us. Just like the Israelites, doubt may threaten to take over, but we can stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will bring. Exodus 14, 13. Unfortunately, the Israelites let their faith waver on their path to the Promised Land. By the time they'd reached the desert of Shur, doubt returned. Even after singing these words of praise, in your unfailing love you will lead the people you have redeemed. In your strength you will guide them to your holy dwelling. Exodus 15.13 But even in the midst of doubt, God is faithful. 
Let's learn from the Israelite story of deliverance and trust him to be our strength for what's ahead. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, when I look at the path ahead of me, I get discouraged. I'm afraid I won't be strong enough to face it alone. I'm having doubts as I think about my situation. Help me to rely on your strength above all else. I know that even though the path may be difficult, I can make it with your help. Lord, forgive me for thinking that I'm all alone. You're always with me. And I need to seek you in prayer and trust that you hear me. You're a faithful father. So I stand on the promise of your presence right now. I believe you're my helper, my guide, and my deliverer. Thank you for supplying the strength I need, not only for today, but for whatever lies ahead. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Do you want to better understand the Bible and give biblical answers to those who ask you about your faith? Hi, this is Perseus Poku, host of the Sound Reasoning Podcast Show. Listen to us weekly as we bring the truth often found in the ivory towers of seminary down to the steeple towers of the local church. Join me along with many of the nation's top theologians as we offer answers to life tough questions from an apologetic perspective. Subscribe to the show at lifeaudio.com. 